good morning, good morning, good morning. Ham and cheese, good morning. All the bind of good morning. Grit cheese, grits, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is all the bind of good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay. I'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm doing this video because I want like ESPN, Fox, CBS, ABC, NBC, uh, WeTV, uh, what's the name? Um, some other. I don't believe I'm gonna say this one. Lifetime. Um. BET, MTV, uh, to do the BBC from the BBC. I sound like I'm uh Jesse Jackson. ABC, uh, from to BBC, uh, and CC and BB. Uh, but I want somebody. And if not, I'm gonna do it. But this one needs to be done. And so I'm calling this video the truth about Saints fans. The truth about Saints fans or the truth behind Saints fans. So let's run it. For the past two foot NFL football seasons, last year and this present season, in the NFC South, the New Orleans Saints have been bullies. I know, I'm, let me stop there. I'm a Carolina Panther fan. So, we were bullied last year. Well, we made the playoffs. I can't say we got bullied, bullied, but they beat us 3 0 last year. And I'm saying this to say all of this. The only real people that know and you that know how Saints fans are are the NFC South fans. That's the Atlanta Falcons fans, the Tampa Bay Buck fans, and the Carolina Panther fans. And the Dallas Cowboy fans. They go, they go hard on Cowboy fans, right? You don't know how hard they go. And they might, and they be serious with it. The obnoxious, they are the most obnoxious fans. And I'm gonna say it, I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. You know, for you to believe you're going to drop 50 points. They thought, they really thought that they was going to drop 50 points, 40 points the whole season. Like, when they lost to Dallas, they thought they beat Dallas. When they lost to Dallas, they thought they beat Dallas. The Saints fan. Like, it's, like last year and this year, especially this year, the first eight, let's say the first 10 weeks. And even when they still hit the under and was going 13 and, and barely winning, they thought they was, they thought they was, they thought like when they were barely winning by three to seven points and, and maybe 10, uh, they thought that was 40 points and 30 points. I think what, what I'm trying to say is the stuff that that's, and even when they lose, like even like now, and they lost against the Cowboys, they come up with the most obnoxious, unfathomable things you can think of to why, like, oh, the, like I got a thing called Things Saints Man saying, all they were saying was, uh, you know, Vegas, the mafia, and all this stuff, bro, you got the, you got, y'all got to hear this stuff. Sean Payton ain't won't show his hand. That was, and it's other, it's other stuff. So I paid one show with him. Um, Jerry Jones bought the refs. Gail Benson, this and all that. You have to hear. That's why I'm going ham on y'all Saints fans because no, dude, they had someone in the comment section with Jason Winlock and them saying, don't, um, don't put us all in one, well, you know, blah, 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 no. Because you give one, you give one Saints fan you give them a yard, or you give them an inch, they're gonna take the whole field, the whole hundred yards, right? Because you can't let them go, or you got to shut them down with the shutdownness. 
Like I told y'all, you got to go whoop the whoop. And I'm so glad Jason Whitlock is going back and forth with him. And I'm going back and forth. I don't get, I'm sorry, dog. Get over it. Get over it, bro. Um, and so the Saints fans are the model. But oh, they won a Super Bowl last year. The Eagles didn't win a Super Bowl. Philly, Eagle fans, NFL, Philly didn't win the Super Bowl last year. The Saints won the Super Bowl. Let me say, look. They won a Super Bowl 10 years ago. And when you get into a, a debate or argument, whatever you want to call it with them, the first thing, I'm going to say the second or third thing they're going to bring up, is we got a Super Bowl. And what's funny is, I bet, and I try to tell them, they didn't believe the Saints were going to win the Super Bowl that year, but I did. I still got my season's palace ticket. That's real talk. That's real talk. For real, for real. That's, that's facts. I still got mine. I promise to you I do, right? That's when I was. But the reason I came, I became a, a Carolina fan is because I like Cam Newton and the way that they was talking. Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush got the nerve because they talk greasy about you, bruh. Do you know how bad they talk about? He was here like five years. He led the team and touched down three of them five years or whatever, or three of them six or whatever, whatever. And they gave him no props. They used to... Reggie Hill went through the tackles. He saw. They used to talk bad about Reggie Bush, and I was the only one that took up for Reggie. And they thought I was crazy. I wouldn't stick up. No, I'm telling. I'm trying. I'm telling y'all the truth. This is this is facts, dog. Like they wanted Reggie to, to run through tackles when you had Pierre Thomas, but I'm like, dog, Pierre ain't gonna. No, Reggie. Reggie never ran through tackles when he was at SC. Why he gonna do it now? He he scores touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give them like, but this is the truth behind Saints fans. They're arrogant. Um, oh, you know what Nobody can beat them in the dome. And so, in the Steelers game, they don't they don't count that. They don't count when Joe Hayden, I'm gonna start with Juju. Juju fumbles the ball, they could have. But Joe Hayden is the third down, and the Phantom pass interference call called on Joe Hayden. See, they, they can't see that. They can't see that. Right? That was two, there was two pit pass interference calls out there in that Steelers game. They can't see that. I'm trying to give them them examples of things in sports. And they're like, this it's that's not football. But it's sports in the bottom line. Come on, man. Get it through your skull. Man. Bro, they can't understand that in boxing. There was upsets and things happened when somebody thought they won. They can't understand in, in horse racing or in, 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 in other football games, whether college, professional, uh, bruh, they can't get it. They can't get it through their mind. And it's, and like I said, I got a video, it's called, they are embarrassing the city and the NFL and, and disrespecting sports, like sports history, like no, suck it up. You know, but they can't get that through their mind. They can't get, they can't get Scotty Pippen. Uh, Scotty Pippen. In the 1994, the Scotty Pippen filed against the New York Knicks. Hubert Davis at the three. And it's, oh gosh. And even, uh, I forget what commentator it was. Y'all know who he is. When I can't think of it. He says, well, they showed the, uh, the, the, uh, the arm up. He was like, the foul was committed after the shot, but the ball was gone. But he still didn't touch it. Right, you want to talk about, like, things in sports. Saints fans, you all are not the only one in sports. So stop it. Uh, Jason Whitlock, I would love to be uh, in the league of smoke. <laughs> If you, if you and your interns happen to look at this. So this has been Alden Bynum. And this has been the truth. And there's more. Because they go in all your kind. Listen, look at all the comment sections from the past two years. Go back to your, look at my comment section. Scroll, I'm telling you. Go back to, if you made a video, and see. 
even right now. They trying to be cool, but they throwing shots. Right? <laughs> Y'all got to peep it out. They throwing shots. They, they're so arrogant. They're arrogant and obnoxious. It's been all divine. Have a good one. Peace, subscribe, like, share, comment.